Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get an open AI API key in 2024. So we're diving into the world of OpenAI, which is a leading provider of artificial intelligence technologies. If you're eager to harness the power of an OpenAI API in your project, you will need, of course, to sign up for an account and obtain your API key. So in this tutorial, we will guide you through the process or steps of getting started with OpenAI API. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open whatever browser you have on your PC. For me here, I'm using Brave Browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section right here, and simply just go to Open AI and hit the Enter button. Once you do so, click on the first link, as you can see, openai.com. So once you click on it, you'll find yourself right here. So the first thing that you'd like to do, of course, is simply to create an account if you don't have an account yet. If you have an account, make sure to go and log in into that. As you can see here in the dashboard, if you go and click on uh, the icon here of ChatGPT, nothing happened. If you scroll down, nothing happened. So where can we log in into my, our account? So we go and click on the middle as an example. Uh, and here, they'll take us to chat GPT. And normally, so let me just go, uh, I'll just type hello as an example and see. So as you can see, they're answering now. So of course, you'll be able to chat with it. But uh, I'll just type as an example, I want to get your uh, open AI API key as an example. I'll just type that into it. I can directly provide you with API key, but I can guide you where to get one. To get an API key, you, you typically need to visit an OpenAI website. This is what we did. And of course, okay. So yeah, this is what I even wanted them to take me. So we, in here, to log in or to create an account. For me, as an example, I'll just go here and click on sign up. Or you can even click on login as example to log in into your account if you have an account. So make sure to go and take into that normally. I don't think if like their website is bugged or something like that, but this should be like giving me where I should uh, have an account or I should log in into my account. But no problem. Here, as you can see, you'll be able to do that. So if I go here and refresh, click on sign up, but nothing working. Yeah. So here's an example. You will need to go and create an account. So you can create an account manually, fill up your information, or if you don't, uh, if you don't want to do that, you can simply click on continue with Google. And as an example, choose an account to create an account with, maybe this one as an example. And by continuing, Google will share your name, email address, language preferences, and profile picture of the OpenAI. You can see the OpenAI privacy policy and service of service. Then, of course, you can manage a sign in with Google in your account. So I'll just go here and click on continue. As you can see, they're verifying everything. And I'll just have to wait a bit. OpenAI platform as an example. So, yeah, I'll just add my birthday. So I'll just do 0202 2002 and click on agree. If you agree to the terms and privacy policy, make sure to read that out. It's very important to read it. Then click on agree. If you agree to it, of course. If you don't, you don't have to, but you'll not be able to get your API key. So here, of course, they'll take us right away, I guess, to chat GPT, but that's not what we want. As an example, I'll just type here again, open AI, because I want to get, yeah, uh, open AI API. That's actually very great. That's what I want. So of course, you can open a new tab, type open AI, and click on this uh, fourth option, which is open AI API. Once you click on it, it seems like you'll be taken here. And here you'll be able to get your API key. So I don't know. Yeah, I guess like ChatGPT is bugged at the moment because a lot of people using it. So maybe it's uh, bugged at the moment, but I don't know. So as you can see here, we'll need our API key. So how can we did get that? So here you'll find documentation. Of course, I would say anything, everything that you want, you can simply look for API. Uh, how to get this but of course if we just go here and click on api references they'll take uh, uh, as you can see you can interact with the api through hcp requests from any language via our uh, official python biden uh, our official node.js uh, uh, javascript of course library or communicate a uh, community maintained library as you can see to all uh, to install the official python biden they will show you like exactly how to do it and here you'll be able to get the project's api keys and the user API keys. So as an example, here, the organization API key. And the 
API key that you want. So exactly that's what we want. So it seems like if you want to get it, just go and click on that API keys. And as you can see, you'll be able to go and create a new secret key or API key. But to do that, we'll need to verify our email address or our phone number. I'm not going to do that because my uh, phone is verified on another account. So I'll not be able to use it to, ver to verify to account. For you, just verify it and then click on create a new secret key. And you'll be able to get your API key as simple as that. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.